Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic of discussion on the structure of the atom and the periodic table. And today we are discussing ion formation. Uh, before we get into more details about uh, ion formation, uh, we know that uh, an ion is a charged particle. And that charged particle is obtained from an atom. An ion is a charged particle that is obtained from an, an atom. So in other words, we are saying that an ion can either have a positive charge or a negative charge. is a charged particle obtained from an atom either by gaining of electrons or losing electrons. So for example, uh, if you take an atom like sodium, a sodium atom that is Na281, that is the electron arrangement, we can say that that atom is unstable. It's unstable because not all the energy levels are fully occupied by electrons. So the third energy level is not fully occupied by electrons. So we can say that this is unstable. This is an unstable atom. In order to become stable, this atom can either lose this one electron or it can gain seven electrons so that it attains a stable electron arrangement of either 28 or 288. So to attain that stability, uh, it needs to either lose the one electron or to gain seven electrons. So we can say that a sodium atom 281 is unstable because not all energy levels are fully filled with electrons. So to become stable, the sodium atom needs to either lose this one electron or to gain seven electrons so that either this energy level is not there or we have eight. Needs to lose one electron or gain seven electrons. So in the case of sodium, we can say that it is easier for sodium to lose one, for sodium to lose one electron to attain a stable arrangement. of 2, 8. So if it loses one, now it becomes stable. It has all the energy levels filled up with electrons. So it needs to, it is easier to lose one electron than to gain, than to gain seven electrons.
and attain 288 arrangement. So in this case, we are going to show how sodium loses this one electron. And what happens is that when this sodium atom loses one electron, it will form a sodium ion. And that's why we're saying that an ion is a charged particle obtained from an atom, either by gaining or losing electrons. So when this one electron is lost, now the number of protons and electrons will no longer be equal. Initially, in an atom, the protons and the electrons are initially equal. But when you lose one electron, now the protons will be more by one. So we have a, a sodium atom. In its nucleus, it has 11 protons, 12 neutrons. The energy levels has 2, 8, 1. So this is a sodium atom. Na, the arrangement 281. So in that case, we are saying that it is easier to lose this one electron so that the other energy levels that remain, they are stable or they are fully filled with electrons. So in this case, it loses one electron. So once it loses the electrons, or once it loses the one electron, the protons and the neutrons are not affected. They remain as they are in the nucleus. What changes are the number of electrons also the first energy level is not affected so they remain true as before the second energy level is also not affected they are eight as before so that is two eight so it has already lost the outermost energy level so now we have it as sodium 2, 8. Now in this case, uh, the number of electrons are 10 because it's 2 plus 8, but the number of protons are 11. So that means that the protons are more than the electrons by 1. And since the protons are positively charged, then we shall form a positively charged ion. So that extra proton is what makes that particular uh, ion to be positively charged. So now it becomes a sodium ion. A sodium ion and then with a positive charge to show that the number of protons or the number of positive charges are more than the number of electrons, the negative charges, by one. So that is how sodium forms its ions. So we're going to have another example. So this is example one. We go to example two. And this one we shall use a, a chlorine atom. Whose arrangement is 287. Is also 
unstable is also unstable and to become stable it needs to gain one electron it is easier to gain one electron here than to lose all the seven by gaining So to become stable, it requires to gain one electron. And as a result, the number of electrons become more. by one, hence acquire a negative charge. So we'll have a chlorine atom, 17 protons and 18 neutrons. So here we have a chlorine atom Cl287 So we are saying that this one will gain one electron here because this is the energy level that is unstable it ha it needs one more electron it is not fully occupied so it gains one electron. And once it gains one electron, it looks like this. The nucleus remains the same, 17P18N. First energy level remains the same. Second energy level also remains the same. but the third energy level gains an extra electron. So now, this one will be Cl288. And because there is one extra electron that has been gained, and it is negatively charged, so the particle becomes negatively charged. And we refer to it as a chloride ion and then at the diagram we show the negative charge there so that shows that um, uh, chlorine gains one electron during ion formation to become stable while sodium loses one electron to become stable when it loses one electron it becomes positive because now the protons are more by one. When it gains one electron, now the electrons are more by one. So it acquires a negative charge. So generally, what happens is that uh, metals lose electrons to form positively charged ions. Whereas 
nonmetals gain electrons to form negatively charged ions. So that's a point to note that generally metals gain no sorry metals lose metals lose electrons to form positively charged ions and those positively charged ions are called cations these ions are called cations they are positively charged on the other hand non metals gain electrons to form negatively charged ions called anions so we have cations and we have anions. The assignment So the assignment using a dot and cross diagram show ion formation in A magnesium 2412 that's the mass number atomic number fluorine 199 mass number atomic number aluminium 2713 mass number atomic number so we'll stop there until next time goodbye <laughs>